Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here in Pahuska, Oklahoma for a very special weekend. We are celebrating 12 wonderful years. So we were married 12 years ago on today, which is June 14th. And we uh, took a short little road trip, just a couple hours from our house and had a babysitter for the kids so we could celebrate our wedding anniversary um, just a, a day away. We are gonna show you where we're staying. We are staying at the boarding house, which is usually booked year round. And a couple months ago, Gary got online, saw there was one room available for one night and it happened to be tonight on our wedding anniversary. This video is gonna take you all around Pahuska, show you some of the cool and exciting things they have since the Pioneer Woman and the Drummond family have started up lots of neat places. So come along as we show you some really exciting things. So one thing that we want to check out while we're in town is P-Town's Pizza. Cassie has read about their not knots Yep. Their not knots which is kind of a funny thing to say, uh, but just like some kind of a garlic knot. They look really good. So we're going to try to check that out. Down a couple doors down is Charlie's Sweet Shop. And they have all kinds of ice cream and goodies there in memory of Charlie, one of Ree's favorite dogs. If you haven't checked out the Pioneer Woman, we kind of grew up with her, I guess. Uh, you can say, I know several years ago, we got Cassie a um, Pioneer Woman cookbook. We went all through that thing and we used to watch her on TV and everything else. Um, across the way is the boarding house. And that's where we're staying at. Also um, within reach is the Mercantile, which is probably the most famous thing she has here. She has the Mercantile, which has a restaurant and all kinds of goodies. So tomorrow we'll be taking you all around to see all the sightings here in Pawhuska that the um, Pioneer Woman has created. Uh, but today we just wanted to show you a few details um, before the crowds get busy. So one thing that <laughs> so one thing that we um, are missing is the kids. We absolutely love our kids, but we do believe it's important to take a break every now and then and um, let them grow a little as well and be able to. Um, Mazzy was super excited that we were leaving because that means she gets to do whatever she wants. Yeah, so we want to make sure that they're able to spend at least a day without us. Um, Ransom especially. Uh, gets attached to Cassie and attached to her hip so it'll be important for them to grow a little without us to realize that life still goes on even if mom and dad aren't available all the time um, one really cool thing that they have here but um, wasn't here last time we came I don't think is this cool old power wagon it's got the drum and ranch on it and of course the main attraction in town is the mercantile. So we made the trip out here right after the place opened and it was kind of crazy. There's a line about 50 yards long. I'd say all the way to the end of that for yeah, sure. Yeah, all the way to the end of those poles uh, just to get in and eat. And then they made it to where there's a separate line for uh, just if you want to go in and shop only. So there's one line to go and eat, another line to go and shop. But we enjoyed coming here, and I know a lot of people drive a lot further than we did today to uh, to check out the Pioneer Woman's restaurant. Um, but we're kind of lucky to have it right here in our own backyard. All right, so we took a quick look around the outside. Um, but as you can see right there, the boarding house is where we're staying at. 
Um, these are custom rooms created by uh, Ladin, Ladin Re Drummond. Um, they made them kind of personal. So the one that we're staying in is called the Emerald Room. It's kind of green, Wizard of Ozish, Oz, Wizard of Ozish. <laughs> That's hard to say. But we're gonna go up uh, and let you guys check that out just in case if you're interested in coming out and staying for a while. Here we go. Well, we're, we're here for the stay, so whenever you bring it, sign with us. This is one of the only hotels I've been to. You get real peace. And when you walk in, it smells like leather to me. All right, so we're inside the room and it is called the- Emerald Room. The Emerald Room. So there's several different ones that you can choose from if you get your reservations in time. But if you're like us and you just get whatever's available, this is what you get. But it is very nice. We're very happy. And um, from the time we walked in the door till now, they've been, um, do you need anything? Can we help you with anything? Would you like a drink? Would you like something to eat? Um, do you need this, that? And so... Um, the customer service is, is great. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. So we're going to take you around, show you the room, um, and the little surprise they left us. All right. So here's a little surprise. Um, happy anniversary to us. I think they said 11. I think I told them 12. <laughs> I may have said 11. I Close know. enough. You know what? It's not a big deal. It's still pretty neat. Um, they got us a couple cupcakes. So it looks like this one's going to be mine. Oh, yeah? Because I like vanilla the best. All right, Cassie. Mm -hmm. A little bit of Neapolitan with a little ice cream cake on top. That's pretty cool. And then a little chocolate. Yum, yum. And then there's some snacks here. Jerky's mine, I brought it. There's different snacks if you like that. Gary, you wanna show them in the fridge? Yep, they have all kinds of drinks loaded up into the fridge. Here in a little bit, they have something that they call happy hour and you can get different drinks and things like that. Um, all that came here. So all the soft drinks, bottled water, and then we brought our own Waterloo watermelon, sparkling water. Because that's the best. Yeah, this is how we are. So when you come in the front door, you have this really pretty uh, brick wall and then a seating area and our shoes are very squeaky on this really clean floor if you hear that and then they have a desk and bedroom or the bed really oh, pretty lighting that I know nothing about chandelier light I don't know they have another really large TV right here next to the bed in case you can't see that one right there and then the blinds Power lines. Boom. Pretty cool. All right. The lighting better? No glare? Kind of. It's kind of darker. So the main reason it's called the Emerald Room is because check out this bathroom. It's got these bright green tiles and checkered floor. Um, I think the inspiration was the Wizard of Oz, but it's got a really cool little makeup counter because Cassie, if you guys don't know this, Cassie wears makeup almost all the time. But <laughs> She never wears makeup. Just one more thing I love about her. She doesn't wear tons of makeup, which means it doesn't take tons of time for her to get ready. Um, this little private bathroom, I don't really want to stand in there. And then, this is weird, but cool. You can see all the way through here. Yeah, go to the other side, Gary. Up, okay. Another toilet in case two people need to go at once. This is her toilet. That's my toilet. That's her toilet. Oh, okay. Yeah. How you doing over there? Good. I got my cowboy over back here. Let me come join you. What so you got? A big clawfoot tub and your own cowboy rubber ducky. That's weird. That's cool. Why not? All right, so we're definitely gonna enjoy our uh, night and day tomorrow, uh, just the two of us without kids. We got lots of things planned for tomorrow to go around and shop and eat and shop and eat. And eat some more. Before we head back to the farm. So stick around and see all the things we got planned for tomorrow. What are you doing? Oh, can I help you? This cupcake is really good. It's like 
but icing is some kind of amazing stuff. I don't know what it is, but. Well, I, well, I was in the middle of eating my cupcake. I rip them apart and then make them like a sandwich. And there was a knock at the door and. Turn down service. Turn down service and show them what they brought us, Gary. So they brought us, usually they do a happy hour, but I guess since all the. Um, stuff. COVID stuff. Came, since all the stuff came along, they don't do the happy hour where you go with other guests, but the happy hour, they'll bring you drinks. This is Cassie and I's drinks of choice. Dr. Pepper for her, water for me. But they brought a cool little fruit tray with um, cheese and fruit and uh, some kind of crackers and fresh chocolate chip cookies. And then they asked, would you like a turn down service? And we're like, sure, we don't really know what that is. And they got our bed ready for us, put all the pillows up. So we're like living high class here off the farm. All right, so room service just arrived and we had a club sandwich right there and chips and queso. So the mercantile dining experience is closed for the evening, but they still have room service available. So we're able to order some stuff uh, right up here to the room. So it's nighttime and we're out on the balcony. I don't know if you can tell, but the mercantile sign is really cool, all lit up at night. It's really pretty. Oh, I think you can tell. So it looks really pretty. We're out here enjoying some decaf coffee. Gary's got some water and just kind of enjoying the nice night, kid free. It's a lot cooler tonight than it was earlier. Beautiful. Definitely. All right, so Gary just got back from a run because he's crazy. No. <laughs> and <laughs> right before he got here, they brought us coffee and what are those? Scones. Scones. Okay, fancy word. Yeah, Cassie. You've had this scone before. I bought a few yeah. scones. Yes, I would just call them donuts or something. So, Gary, last night we ordered our coffee. He got cappuccino. I got coffee. So, let's try it. That's good. All right, so we're headed out for some breakfast over at the Mercantile. Gary's representing. Oh, yeah. Just in case we get a photo op with Reed. Here's the reservation. Okay.
out. Yeah, I'm getting you. I was like, what are you going to do over here? <laughs> you. Why? We're out looking at different antique shops and just enjoying the time together. Aww. <laughs> and uh, just seeing what El Pajasca has to offer. This is our next destination. The Bucking Flamingo. Looks pretty interesting. All right, so here we go. I think Gary's gonna go sit on those bar stools over there. Yeah, he's got me written all over there. Which one are you gonna pick? The middle one. <laughs> pieces of pizza crust. And they're supposed to be amazing. Yeah, we'll see. They look really good though. Mm. Life changing? They are really good. All right, let's dig in. All right, there's the main course for us today. Yeah, so we didn't go the pizza route. We went hot wings and we got garlic parmesan, regular hot wings, barbecue, ranch, blue cheese. Why did we not go the pizza route? Because our kids eat pizza all the time. <laughs> it looks really good though. Yes. Are you going to pick some candy out for the kids? Yeah, they probably would like that more than anything. Uh, yeah. yeah what are you I'm talking to? I'm not talking to anything. This is taking out our cash. Hey babies. We're almost home, but Gary had to stop and talk to his cows. I guess they were waiting on him. Let's see if there's any new babies. There's one that's close. Did you miss us? Daddy. I love you. Where's everybody else at? All right, we're back at the house. The kids got their candy. They were so excited for us to be home. You excited, Ranger? So we had a good little trip. We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that bell for notifications, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Have a great day and God bless.